Do you know if your NARC has stolen your identity? My name is Melissa Reimer, and this is my second YouTube video from Victim to Warrior. And if you haven't checked out my first video, I would appreciate you doing so because you'd know a little bit about my background and why you should spend your precious time listening to me. I'm a narcissistic abuse survivor. I spent seven years in a hellacious uh, marriage and I'm also a financial industry veteran. I have 40 years in that industry. And that honestly is what helped me not only survive financially, but thrive. And I wanna share that with you. So one of the things that we wanna talk about today is has your NARC stolen your identity? And you're not gonna know unless you pull a copy of your credit report. You are entitled to one free credit report a year. And in the link below, I've given the resources of several different places where you can order a copy of your credit report, the steps to do so. And once you receive this credit report, go through it, go through it line by line and make sure everything that's on your credit report is actually your debt. Because if your NARC did what my NARC did, and opened up debt in your name, you will be able to see it on your credit report and you can dispute it. Stealing someone's identity and opening up debt in their name is against the law. I mean, it is punishable by criminal charges and that's what I had to do with mine because he actually opened up a credit card in my name and took his entire family, his, mo his mother, my mother-in-law who didn't even really like me, his kids, and they went on an all expenses paid ski trip in Colorado at a five star hotel on my expense. And you know when I found out about it? When I got the bill and it was past due and I had no idea what it was about. So that is why it's so important for you to get a copy of your credit report and go through it. If something's not yours, you can dispute it. And if you didn't sign that lo those loan papers and you didn't take that credit card out or that loan out, they have to remove it from your credit report. So it could be hindering your credit score. And credit scores are really important now because it could get you a better job, a better place to live. Um, you could get a mortgage if you wanna be a homeowner, but not knowing what is on your credit report is probably the worst thing you can do because if you were like me, I was trying to heal emotionally, physically, mentally, and it was very difficult to think financially. If it wasn't for my background, I don't think I could. And many people who are not in this industry would not know to actually pull a copy of their credit report. I have some friends that are like, I don't even wanna know what's on that credit report. Believe me, you wanna know because ignoring it does not make it go away. Only you can make it go away if you find out what's on there and something's not yours. Um, I would really appreciate you hitting the subscribe button and the bell because I have an entire series of videos that will help you uh, keep from becoming financially destroyed. If you are recovering mentally, physically, and emotionally, but you're financially ruined because of your NARC, it's gonna make things so much more difficult for you. You wanna start fresh. You wanna start your journey to happiness and being in control of everything that you do with a clean slate. And if your NARC has messed it up, either by identity theft or fraud, or let's just say they maxed out your credit cards and now you have late payments or your credit score is low, I can help you with that too. So get a copy of your credit report, go through it, and on the next video, we'll talk about what is on there. And if it's identity theft, I'll walk you through the steps on what to do um, to dispute things and how to get it removed from your credit. Um, or if you need help repairing your credit. Now, I will advise you, do not hire a credit repair company because 99% of the time it's a scam and they'll take your money and they will not repair your credit. The only person that can repair it is you. Finding out what doesn't belong to you, disputing it, or if it does belong to you <clears throat> and it was because of your NARC maxing out your credit cards, we can actually go through that too and work on steps together to get you to where you have a clean slate and you can start enjoying your life and you don't have to worry about all this baggage that your NARC left you with. So you can go from being a victim to a warrior and I wanna help you do that. So um, I hope to see you on the next video. Please stay safe and I look forward to seeing you then.